Hello guys, uh, welcome to Photographics Academy. All right, so today I'm going to be showing you an amazing way you can retouch your images and it and you will receive a very high-end result in just few clicks and in just few minutes. You wouldn't have to do a lot, just follow my steps step by step and you will learn how to use this amazing action that enables you to retouch your images to get a high-end result in the shortest time possible. All right, so without wasting your time, let's get started immediately. So I'm going to open up my action panel and locate exactly where the action I want to use is. So my action will be found in retouch action PGA. So the first thing I want to do with the image is that I want to get the skin tones matching. I want to get the skin tones matching so that it will look uniform at the end of the day. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my auto skin tone right here that I'm going to click it. So this particular action is fully customizable. The reason it's customizable is because images differ from color to color. So you would, you might want to uh, not use exactly the setting I've already done, but want to use your own. That's why it's customizable. So all you need to go to do rather is to click on this gradient map right here and open up the first one at your highlight side, just like this, and click on the brightest part of your image. So for this image, I'm going to click the forehead, then copy the brightness, Control C to copy. Then come and paste it in your location right here. Do the same thing for the middle point, which is your mid-tone somewhere around here. Copy the brightness, Control C, come and paste it in your location as well. Then do it for the last one, which is the darkest tone of your image. So just select any place that is very dark. So for this particular image, I'm going to pick up the neck down here. Select the, copy the brightness level as well and paste in your location. If you, if you want to do up to four points, you can do the same. If you feel you have a lot of places you can pick from. But for this image, I'm going to be doing just three. Then press OK and press OK. And it's going to do the rest of the job for you, except for the place where you have to apply. So let it load up. Okay, so this is your color range. This is your color range selection. The reason I uh, we set it like this is so that you can have a preview of the selection before you apply your mask. So if you see that the selection is not exactly what you wanted, probably selecting a little bit of the too much of the places you do not want, all you can do is just come down to your layer one here, pick up your quick selection tool and adjust the selection. So for this case, I'm going to remove it from the hair just like this. So I'm minusing it from the hair just like that. Then if you feel like you do not want it on the lips, you can do the same thing. Maybe if on the lips over here, I minus it from the lips, just exactly the way I'm doing it. So this is why I said it's fully customizable. Then you can equally minus it from your eyes. If you think that is too much, you can leave that and let her remove it with your brushes. So having done that, I'm going to now create a mask for it over here. Then take up the mask and replace the original mask of the gradient mapping with the mask I've already created. And we have our skin tone automatically matched. Look at that beautiful matching. So let me do before and after. Maybe I will increase the opacity a little so you can see the effect. So this is before, this is after. Look at the way the neck is slightly different from the body in the original one when it comes to color. But because we've matched it, it's now having luminosity difference instead of color difference. And that is how you can match your skin tone using this amazing action for free. So you can actually go around your image and make sure you have a proper selection. So I feel like it's too much in the eye. So I'm just going to paint it out of the eyes like this and do the same thing over here. And we are good to go. So the next thing we're going to be doing, of course, I'm going to be closing this up so it doesn't get too clustered and clumsy in what we're doing. So the next thing I'm going to be running on my image is my is my auto retouching action, which is over here, the one called retouch action. So I'm just going to click on it and play it. So it's equally fully customizable. Now, when you get to median, you should know that this is where you determine if you want your image to be so smooth or you want to retain a lot of details. Of course, there are people that want to have a lot of details in their image. There are still some people that want to have everything so smooth. This is where you determine it. So for the purposes of this image, because I'm seeing some blemishes I wouldn't want to see at the end of the day, I'm going to be reducing my media. I would advise you to take care of your blemishes if you know you are not going to be reducing your media as much as I'm going to do so that it doesn't appear in your image. So for this image, I'm going to go as low as three just to have the smoothest image I can get from this 
action. So I'm going to press OK and it's going to do the rest. You are going to see the magic in a few seconds. All right, so properly done. Look at the way it's already looking properly high-end retouched. Look at the way it's already looking clean. Of course, you can pick up your, your healing brush too and just fix one or two blemishes over here. And you are good to go. Look at the before, look at the after. Look at the before, look at the after. Look at the before, look at the after. Amazing, amazing, amazing work it's doing here. So like I promised you, we do not want to do anything manual. So I wouldn't be painting. I wouldn't be removing the blemishes myself. I just wanted you to see the amazing work you could do with this. Of course, you can equally take your time and remove it from your own if you wish to. But I'm going to be leaving it like that. So I'll do the next thing I'm supposed to do on the image, which is apply my auto dodge and burn over here. It was going to run that and it's going to apply. So you can delete this particular group, put these two into the same group. Look at the before, look at the after, before, after. So if you feel like it's too much on your background, you can as well select just your subject and apply the mask on the just like this so we don't want it on our background at all all right so so what i'm going to do is i'm going to create a mask for the group and paint it into my skin just like that so this is our auto dodge and burn Okay, so of course this is too much we're going to reduce the opacity way down yeah just to add it that to give it that contrast punch nice one just way down like that beautiful okay so we have our other than and bone properly applied nice 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 so i'm going to flatten this in and the next thing i want to do is to increase the details of my image i'm going to go to sharpen and apply it Hang on, we might need to punch our Photoshop a little in a minute. Okay, so we got that punched already. So we'll go back to our sharpen and apply it again. And look at that amazing result. Okay, so let's look at it before and after. So this is before, this is after, this is before, this is after, just to get that extra detail. just to get extra details on our image. So this is before, this is after. Let me take it back a little. Nice one. So this is before, this is after. You may not see this properly this way. So I'm going to zoom in again, just like this. This is before, this is after. Look at the eyes. So you will notice that the blemishes have been accentuated. So you might just need to pick up your, your sports healing brush too and just take care of a few of them, the ones you want to take care of. And you are good to go, just like this. just like this nice one so just take your time this is not a blemish removal tutorial so i wouldn't be wasting so much time doing this just take your time and make sure you have your image properly cleaned up like i said before before you apply the action i would advise you take care of your blemish in the image your blemishes in the image so that you have a seamless flow of work okay so i'm going to stop over there now I think I've removed the major ones I need to take care of. Nice. Okay, so we have this over here. All right, so cancel. All right, so having applied both our auto dodge and burn, our retouching, and our auto skin tone matching, the next thing I think we should do on the image is to give it a proper skin tone color, and that is where the our color lookup table comes in. So load up our color lookup, look for it. Okay, so we have our color lookup table somewhere around the corner. All right, so let's check out this, our novel cube. I think this is beautiful. It's giving it a very rich warm tone. It's even matching with the color of the background. But well, let's see if we can have something else. Try the outdoor. Uh, this is obviously not what I want, not what I want. So let's come down to the PGA cube. I said, oh, amazing work we have here. Something very contrasty. It's giving it a very contrast look. So I think I'm going to be going with this one. I love the contrast it's bringing into the image. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to go to my selective color and just add a little red to the image to give it that warm pop tone. Yeah, like that. Beautiful. Just move it around a little and see what you have. 
Nice. Do the same thing for the yellows. Just a little pop of red to separate it from the background and you are good to go. So we'll put these two together. So this is before, this is after, this is before, this is after. Okay, so this one is your bonus that I just want to give you for free. You can even go into your gradient mapping. You can go into your gradient mapping and pick up any of the uh, presets they have there already. If you can't find your legacy gradient, you can actually go to your windows, load up gradient from here. And when you load it up, you can go here and click on legacy gradient. So when you click on legacy gradient, you might need to close this now, go back to your gradient map and you come down here you'll find your legacy gradient that i'm looking for photographic toning you go to photographic toning and select anything that looks warm then change the blend mode to soft light or any other blend mode that suits you and drop down the opacity and you have an amazing color grading right there thank you for watching this amazing video remember to purchase this app all you need to do is just go to our store and you will find it if you already have the app maybe yes just go to the link in the video description below and you will be able to assess the actions for any of your workload thank you for watching this amazing video do make sure you subscribe to our youtube channel and please do ring the bell to get notified every single time we drop a new video see you